Well, the first thing is start educating the kids. And when we say take a fish, take a kid fishing, it means teaching conservation too. And I really think that's the first thing. It's got to start here. The other thing is pay attention. Um, nobody likes to be a squealer, but frankly, I've seen people pull in fish and throw them in the boat and look around. I'm talking about maybe 10 redfish, some undersized even. And uh, I just call. Nobody ever comes. You know, by the time they get there, that guy's gone. And the other thing is, watch out at the dock. They'll get their limit, bring them up, throw them in the ice chest, right back out. And uh, I don't know. Um, if it's a weekend fisherman, that's the only time he gets to go, and he wants to keep six reds, and there's, say, um, only two people in the boat and he's got nine reds. Um, if they get him, give him a ticket, you got to. But that's not, that's not gonna hurt anything. It's the guy that goes out with the gill net at night with a gun, which they've pulled on me before early in the morning. Hey, what you doing there? What do you care? <laughs> Looking back now, what's the high point of, of, of all your fishing experience and career? Fishing with kids. <laughs> what's the low point? Um, probably seeing people do what I just said and not caring about conservation. Because uh, this isn't for you because by the time you're dead, those kids have to suffer with lack of quality fish. Oh yeah, that's the reason, and I'll say this, um, Al Jones has picked up on it. He thinks it's his, but I'm older than him. And I've said, take a kid fishing ever since I was a kid. And I think we all should say that, and you practice it, and that's good. <laughs>